Hey, you're watching Mulgore's videos, and this is a very response to uh, Tolstoy's video on the vir uh, blah, 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 virtual boy. And so I just thought that was a, a great video. You know, in case you didn't see my comment, I was getting sick of waiting. And once I just came home and saw that video there, I was a happy camper. I am a happy am I am a happy camper. And so. Uh, I was realized, huh, well, I have a whole stack of Nintendo powers. I should make a response of, like, you know, a little history lesson on the Virtual Boy. And I dug up this magazine, and it's just pretty cool, because, um, I don't think anybody knew how much of a failure this was going to be. This is like, it's like, pfft, look at that. I don't know. That had nothing to do with anything, but I just love Nintendo powers. You know, people say, oh, well, why would you get Nintendo power? I mean, they only discuss Nintendo stuff. I'm like, I don't care. I'm a Nintendo fanboy anyways. Uh, you know, it, it's just like looking, taking a trip to a time capsule. I mean, like look at old home home movies. So, I mean, the whole issue isn't just on the Virtual Boy, but about half of it is. So I'm just going to skim through it. Just really, just really quick. All right. I don't want this video to get too long. And in case you're like trip not going, to, wait, this isn't vulgar. This isn't Cramage. This is like some kid that kidnapped him and made him do a video on someone else's channel. Now, in case you didn't realize, uh, <coughs> excuse me, getting over a cold. Um, check, look at that picture. Uh, I started up a, a channel called Going Down the Tubes just for video responses and such. All right, so here's a Virtual Boy. Right there. Try to get to the goods right here. Some fan art. Top games. Whatever. This is alright. So how does I'm reading this right here. I don't want to get too much light. Alright. How does Alright. Uh blah, blah, blah. the most daring the most daring new gaming system in history arrives this month. Nintendo's Virtual Boy creates real 3D game worlds for players brave enough to take the plunge. Get ready for a hardcore, high-tech, in-your-face experience. <laughs> in your face, no kidding. Uh, yeah, you know, you, I know you have some thoughts on that quote. Vir Virtual Boy opens the door to a new world of games. Virtual Boy arrives. Um, oh yeah, Virtual Boy Rise. Um, in your face gaming. It's in your face, now in your eyes. It's in your blood. Virtual Boy arrives in the United States this month, which this issue is, uh, issue 75 in what year? Huh. 1975. Not sure. Oh! Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Um, let's see. Rise. This month, with its new, ah, blah, blah, blah. United States this month, and with it comes a new 3 3D immersive experience like nothing you've ever seen or felt before. This special Virtual Boy section of power, of power, covers the first Virtual Boy games and answers your questions about this radical, radical, because it was in the 90s, new technology. Okay, so here's a picture of it. Of course, you know what a Virtual Boy looks like by now because you've already seen Tolstoy's video. I hope. Otherwise, this would be kind of pointless. Okay, question one. How does... How does Virtual Boy create 3D graphics? Ha <laughs> ha, right. Virtual Boy uses two RTI, a mirror scanning LED arrays to create stereoscopic 3D environment, just like in real life. Each eye sees the image from a slightly different angle, which is what makes things look closer from far they're away uh, yeah except not really all right next uh, why is it virtual white in full color well uh, you see the resolution or sharpness of, of of the images is three times better than it would be if the blue and green LED arrays had been included the system would cost three times as much well, that would be horrible because it was already a hundred and eighty dollars. Okay, this is for a portal con a portal system. When the DS debuted, it was a hundred and fifty. Okay, this is a hundred eighty 
and it's not even portable, of course. You know that. Ugh, what a failure. Man. Oh, yeah, 90... August in 1995. So this is right when it's 64. Right, right before 64, I think. Or right when it's 64 released. Okay, when is the power... What is the power source for the Virtual Boy? Of course, you already know that. 6 AA batteries or your S Super Nintendo AC adapter. Alright, next. Um, how many games will be available for the Virtual Boy? Uh, a system launches with three titles plus Mario's Tennis. Ooh, three games. So revolutionary. Tennis packed in with, hard, uh, with the hardware. A list of titles is still growing, but... Here's what we know will appear in the first few months. Mario Tennis, Galactic Pinball, Tele Boxer, Tele Boxer, Golf, Red Alarm, Mario Clash, Mario Cruise. It's like Mario Cruise, never heard of that one. Waterworld, Virtual League Baseball. Probably the one that Tolstoy was talking about. Or he got uh, Panic Bomber, V Panic Bomber VB, Jack Brothers, Jack Brothers, what a weird name. And Virtual Force. Alright, uh I think it's the last, yeah, mostly the last part. Okay, this is this is this is a great gas of fun right here. All right, Virtual Boy must. Okay, playing is believing. Virtual Boy, blah, blah, blah. try it before you buy it. Virtual Boy must be experienced to be believed. As great as the 3D images are in this issue of power. Of course, if you don't know, but they talk about power, they mean Nintendo power. Okay. Um, they don't do the dust just to, to, to the reality of the Virtual Boy. To show people what it's all about, Nintendo has teamed up with Blockbuster Video and NBC to offer prizes, savings, and best of all, a taste of Virtual Boy's amazing 3D immersive environment before you buy. From August through December, you can rent a Virtual Boy system for like 10 bucks. Well, that's a great idea. So now, you can just pay 10 bucks and get a taste of how awful the system is so people so they won't buy it <coughs> excuse me um, okay from any of the 3,000 blockbuster outlets in the US hmm, that seems kinda low I guess this is when blockbuster just came out you'll get two games for two nights plus a well, two days for two nights or uh, two days that's not very long plus a coupon good for ten dollars off on the purchase of virtual boy in addition, NBC will run a sweepstakes through September th with over 200,000 in prizes, including Virtual Boys and Game Packs. You can also win fantasy trips to the rest, to the sets of the top NBC shows, such as Seinfeld, Frasier, and The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay, I know that's probably a waste of your time, but you know, just taking you back on Virtual Boy. Okay, so this is just one one game, another game, Jack Brothers. Okay, whatever. Mario's Tennis. Uh, Galactic Pinball. Um, let's see. More of that. The boxing game. Mario Clash, which... Mario Clash... It does look kind of fun because it does look like it actually had 3D in it. But not really fun, just interesting because everything's red. Okay, I don't know if it's just if you had to be in 94, but looking at that, it doesn't seem like it would be a real thrill to play because everything's red. Looks like you just burn your retinas right out. I mean, if people thought, hmm, laser pointers will be are bad for your eyes, but this is just fine. Well, that's basically it. And then it goes to Yoshi's Island. And then from that, it goes Street Fighter. And, you know, more stuff. And I love Nintendo Power. And so, yeah. That was basically it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, whoa. In case you didn't figure it out, Nintendo Power, or not Nintendo Power, uh, Virtual Boy, such a huge failure. I mean... Worse than a Jaguar, worse than anything. I don't think there's anything as big a failure as that. What else could it be? Bigger failure. Uh, you know, Sega Saturn. People say that'd be that's a big failure. Not at all. Not compared to this. Um, Sega. Oh, I know one. 